Welcome to the Fascia Training Institute webinar series. We're going to be talking about fascia, the practical application of fascia, what it means to you as a trainer, a therapist, an athlete, um, an individual who has been in pain or wants to prevent pain. It's really understanding what the fascia does in your body. And you can read definitions that it says it's interconnected to everything, but what does that mean to you? And so we're gonna just try and define that um, in going into the lymph system, the fascial system and how they work together. And the lymph affects fascia. The waterway of the body affects fascia. And fascia affects the lymph and how that moves through your body and why is lymph important. So the visceral system, which is your organs, is affected by fascia. So how you eat, how you digest, how you absorb, how you go to the bathroom, it's all affected by fascia. And if it's really restricted around your digestive system, it can be sluggish, which slows down your organ movement and your lymphatic movement. And then we go into the nervous system. So that restriction can affect the nervous system as well, or the nervous system can affect the fascia. So when we're talking about the interconnectedness, it is the micro component, it, everything is working together. But fascia also gives you form. So how your body is shaped is really because of fascia. And the shape can change, so you can actually dent fascia, you can rip fascia, you can have surgery which cuts fascia, and that again changes the form or optimum functioning of your body. And fascia can prevent speed, power, performance, the contraction of your muscles. And the muscles can affect the fascia, how healthy they are, the nutritional piece. So when we're looking at what fascia means and what fascia therapy means, is really addressing all of those symptoms. So when you're looking for a treatment, a training, it's, it's going to someone who understands or refers out to someone who understands all those systems. Your strength coach should know, your coach should know, everyone should know. It's just not one structure going, oh, I'm going to stretch the fascia. Well, the fascia actually has a set form. It has some range of motion and ability to open up when it's compressed. And it's that opening, that gliding that you want um, between the fascia, the skin, the organ, the cell. You don't want them adhered together because that restricts movement and function. And oftentimes that restriction can just be affected by hydration. So water is one of the most important pieces in performance and in quality of life. And it's often overlooked because it's really, really simple. Um, the other thing that's super simple is breathing. So the first thing that's really important in the health of your fascia is hydration. The second is your breath. So by not breathing creates actually adhesions and it changes the fascia. So it can be like getting stickier and stickier, like apparently like your rib cage, not being able to open up and expand because the fascia could just be so adhered because you're taking all these small breaths or not breathing when you're concentrating or thinking. Um, oftentimes people forget to breathe and they breathe to stay alive, but it's, it's the optimal breath for health not just for survival is what we're talking about. So the fascia is my passion. I've been working with it now for 18 years and um, enjoyed every piece of it along the way, trying to convince people what fascia was real, 